Let me know when you're ready. Yep, I'm all set. All right, so the stand up, we have to do four things all at once to do a stand up. Uh, the, traditionally, they're going to line up on your left side, but whichever hand is on my stomach, that's the hand that I'm going to grab, and I'm going to try and grab it right, right here between the knuckles and the thumb and right across the back so that I actually have the hand where the bones are, right? Those uh, metacarpals that are easy to squeeze. If I grab the wrist, she can still grab onto me. Okay, if I grab this, she, she's just kind of a, it's a kind of a limp noodle. She's it's kind of useless. So that's what I want to do, render this hand useless. Okay, so that's one thing, the grabbing hand. The other thing is I don't want her to come under here and grab something. Okay, I don't want her to come under here and lock her hands when I do stand up, right? So I need to block this. And how I block that is drive this elbow into my hip and rotate my palm up. Okay, so that looks like this, right here. Palm is up, I'm in super tight. Jay, try and put your arm between here, between this gap. Okay, if my palm is up, she can't get in there. If I turn my palm down, drive it in now, she can, she can fire through. And that's the same amount of downward force, but it changes how the muscle is oriented here. So just by turning my palm up makes a big difference, okay? So that's the second thing. Third thing is I need to get my body up and lean back into her. So we raise my head and chest. And the fourth thing is I need to step with my opposite foot, the one that's away from her, directly diagonal of her. So I'm going to put it over here. If she were on this side, I'd put my left foot over there. If she's here, my right foot goes here. So all four at once, here, okay? I don't want this leg bent a lot like this. This is very weak. It's very hard for me to straighten this leg. I want a lot of strength, okay? I don't want it locked all the way straight because then I can't push. So I'm, I'm right about like five, 10 degree angle, you know, whatever's comfortable for me, okay? Now I've got all these things all at once. With the middle part of my back, this part here, I'm gonna push into Jade. So I'm essentially leaning forward with my chest and shoulders, okay? But I'm pushing back into her. She'll probably stand up with me. When we get to here, stand still. When we get to here, okay? She'll be leaning in a little bit. There'll be some pressure, but I'm in my stance, okay? I avoid, at all costs, I avoid this. I see a lot of wrestlers doing this. If she moves, I'll fall right to my back, okay? I need to be self-supporting while still pushing back in. So I have this kickstand underneath me in the middle, right? My other leg. Then I could two on one. Two hands are stronger than one. Two on one is this. Push this down. If I don't have the hand, it doesn't matter. I'm still gonna two on one this wrist. Whatever I got, two on one this and this. It doesn't matter, okay? This is ideal, but I take what I can get. Two on one, I push it down this way. I always turn away from what I control. I control this, so I'm turning away. Turn this way. And my hips come down and away, right into my low stance. Notice Jane will go right into her stance, okay? If I don't turn low and away, if I just turn, I'm leaving a lot of openings here. She can just right away attack me again. Okay? So I turn low and away. And here, two on one, I'm still pinching this in. This here, very tightly. Okay? If she comes over, it's okay. She can't come over and grab this because I've only got to stretch it just a little bit. She can lock here, come over and lock. She can lock here, but if I move this hand just a little bit, try and lock now. See how she can't really reach it. Okay? So I only need to push this just a little. Two hands are stronger than one. Clear. Right into this. Okay? Stand up escape.